I honestly have no idea how I ended up coming around to finding it. I, all of a sudden, I just, I'm actually at my doctor's one night for an ADHD uh, medicine change, and my doctor comes in, and he's like, are you doing okay? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know, really. It's, I mean, I've got school, all this other stuff, and, and um, my doctor's, my mom's chimes in, she's like, I think he's depressed. He doesn't really talk, he doesn't really eat. And I was like, well, yeah, um, me not eating is kind of a side effect of the meds, so I'm not really used to eating until around like seven o'clock at night anyway. And so she's like, yeah, but when you eat, you don't really eat, eat. And I was like, well, yeah, sometimes I'm not really all that hungry. It doesn't mean I'm depressed. And so of course, you know, more tests done later. My doctor's like, yeah, well, your mom's right. You are depressed. And I was like, great. So I was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, more meds or not, you know, didn't really bother me. Um, uh, it actually had come down to later finding out that after my dad had split, uh, my parents got divorced. It kind of ended up taking a toll on me psychologically. Um, as I got older, I realized that's why I was depressed and I had really tried hard to hide from hiding the depression for a while because I'd stopped taking them, stopped taking the meds. And so it was just really hard to try to hide it. And, um, it was after I'd actually gotten home from the military that I actually, the, the depression had actually gotten slightly worse. There were days where I couldn't even really get out of bed uh, and go to work. So I had called in a bunch of times and throughout the two years that I've been home and said, I, I can't make it in today. I'm, it's my body's just not letting me function. It wasn't until just recently that I realized that I need to, needed to surround myself with better friends who actually make me feel more at home. And meeting everyone in my current ward was actually probably a good thing for me. I, I didn't really know where to go to, where to turn to, and I was kind of having a hard time with my life. I mean, I was engaged, you know, and I thought I was happy, but turns out I wasn't. I guess I was just getting married to get married and, and you know, yeah, I loved her, but it obviously wasn't meant to be. After that, I ended up just surrounding myself with friends. And it wasn't until about a few weeks ago that I had made a friend who I really connected with. She has really been understanding of my issue and she's really been there to help me out a lot. Her sister too. They, I don't think there's a day that goes by where I don't text either one of them and, you know, see what they're up to, see if they're, you know, having fun with their classes. Um, they're really great friends. I really don't know where I'd be without them today if I hadn't met them. I actually started dating one of them. And yeah, I, I know what you're thinking. Um, <laughs> what makes this smile like this apparent on my face? It's because of her. Um, I guess you could say I've fallen for her a little bit. Well, more than a bit, I guess I could say a lot. And there's just something about her that just pushes away that dark cloud that looms over me whenever I'm depressed. I can get a text from her and I and it could say, hey, how is your day going? And it could make my day so much better. And I could also be having a really crappy night and, she, and her sister could text me saying, hey, you should come over and we should do something the with, and you should grab Brady too and we could all go. I was, and it'll make me smile too, because it'll be like, okay, I'm totally down. Let's do something. I'd, 
I'm sitting in my room doing nothing right now. And I don't know what it is about them, but I guess with them being from New England, I guess it just makes a <laughs> thing from the Dukes. I get because I don't I don't know stereotypes about New England, but from what I from from what I've heard is is that people from New England are a bunch of party people and they like to do stuff. I went through therapy when I was t for 12 years after my dad had, after my parents got divorced. I didn't really feel much of a difference after those 12 years. I I had actually lost on about a year's worth, maybe more of a childhood. It seemed like in it I mean 12 years and once a week for 12 years straight. I mean 52 times 12, you know, you know, it's obviously more than a year. With everything that's happened to me in my, in my whole life, I'm after, I mean, my parents got divorced. My dad got remarried twice, um, which is a whole nother story. Um, I went to college, enlisted in the military, got sent home halfway through boot camp uh, for mild asthma, and then here I am here three years later from getting home and my phone just buzzed and I'm pretty sure it's a text from one of them. <laughs> my life has practically been a roller coaster from practically day one. Where I moved from from Georgia to Utah and then at 21 leave for Great Lakes, Illinois. Stay there for, I, I mean, I was planning to be to at least be in the Navy forever, if I could have, at least done 20 years, but that didn't happen. Um, come back home, live in Salt Lake, then move down to Provo. Coming to find out that Provo is probably the best thing to ever happen to me was to move down here, make friends, meet people that are probably supposed to be in my life for a reason. I mean, then again, through Heavenly Father, I guess we all know something's supposed to happen.